He sneakers back. Yeah, I've been away for quite a while, haven't I? I will explain all about that in the next video. But I thought I'd better get back and do some videos because I've been just so really, really busy with coding and stuff, okay? I'll explain it all to you. There's been loads and loads going on. And as I said before, I need 48 hours in a day. 24 is not long enough, okay? Okay. <sighs> and plus, I'm the uh, one of the Code Club uh, champions for this year as well in the UK, that's for the Southwest. So I've got lots of bits and bobs going on, There's, you know, lots, lots of stuff. Anyway, the video I'm going to give you tonight is something a bit different, okay? Now, we all use LibreOffice, don't we, yeah? LibreOffice, or Abbey Word, or Google Docs, or the Microsoft thing some of you may use. I don't. It's entirely up to you. It's your computer. It's your life. You use what you want to use, okay? But a while ago, I downloaded a snap for this. Only Office. Now, you look up on the top bar and you think, oh, pricing, so I'm going to have to pay for it. Well, no, just for desktop, you don't have to pay for it. It's actually a freebie. It's only when you want to collaborate with people, you have to start paying some money. So if you only want to use it for a desktop application, it's nice and free of the BB. Okay. Right, that's super duper, isn't it? Okay. Right, you can download it for Windows, of course. Mac. Linux as a Deb and RPM package. And it's a portable Linux version for some of you who just want to put on a stick at the end of the day. Okay. If that's what you do. But I've got it as a snap. And I think there's an app image as well. I think there's an image for everyone, actually. I'll be honest with you. It's rather good. So we'll go and open it up for you. So here we are. Okay. I'll make that full screen for you. So you can see what I mean. Now you can see it's really, really lean. It's sort of like Google Docish, isn't it, really, when you think about it. Or what's the other one I used to have? Uh, oh, there was another one from India. A complete uh, office suite, but it was nearly always online, but free. Looks very, very similar at the moment. So what do you get? We're starting here. So you can start your project, which is a document, a spreadsheet, or a presentation. Now, I've tried these out in school, and they are really almost comparable with Microsoft stuff, okay? Which in school is a really good idea, especially when you're doing presentations. If you ever tried to use LibreOffice for presentations, sometimes it doesn't come out very well on um, the spreadsheet one. Oh, sorry, the presentation document. It just doesn't work very well. So you get recent files, open a local file. That's where it saves all the files to, okay? Share and collaborate. So what does that bring up? Okay, you can try it free, I think, for 30 days. So if you've all got it on your systems, just keep using it. So that's pretty good. A version history. Yeah, so we know what version it is. Yeah, it's the latest one. Remember, being a snap, it gets updated immediately. Okay. And a collaborative review, which is also the one you're going to have to pay for eventually. Okay. But if you're going to collaborate on a, on something that's really important, I think it's probably a good idea. But although I wouldn't want to pay for it personally. If I go back to see the price, and we'll just have a look. But we'll just have a quick look before we get into it. So we go to pricing, we're just for the cloud service, so you just want to collaborate. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, that's a team of 20. Okay. What about if I go down? Two. Four. Say so four of you. Okay, so it's $20 a month for four users. That's $5 a piece, or $144 for a year. Would you do that? Not for me, really. You do get 20 gigabytes of disk space, but you could use Google Dots for that, couldn't you? Or Dropbox, or whatever, really. So, as for a pay one, I probably wouldn't use it, personally. I don't, know. I don't like paying for things, anyway. So, we'll look up the documents. <clears throat> this is our new document. As you can see, it's really quite streamlined, isn't it? And there's lots and lots of options that you would expect in an Office application, really. So, get down here, we get our plugins, our comments, our searches, files print it's all here for you. your font size your font style your color everything is here for you so if i just go to we're going to change the font and it seemed to have picked up all my fonts i've got on my machine not all of them so if i go to the ubuntu font right and nice and big for you say so we go to 28 and we we'll go ooh, da, 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 da. this is my document now was there any spell check i didn't see that so if I spell something wrong, so if I go only one R, yes, spell checker's here. So if we right click that and see what happens, it doesn't come up with much really. Oh, sorry, is down there. I would prefer that if there was more options there, personally, but it is there. It's just using a different thing to, get, to do different stuff, isn't it, really? We all like doing stuff and what we're familiar with, but if you want to try something different, give this a go. 
if I go back to start, we'll open another document up and go to a spreadsheet. As you can see, it's going to load the spreadsheet. It's the same as everything else. I do like this up here. I really do like that. Do you? It's just something different. It may make stuff easier, especially for kiddies. So I might give this a go at in class. Again, you can change your fonts, whatever. So we'll go to Comic Sans. Everybody hates that one. And your font size. We'll go down to 26. Makes the boxes even larger, as it would do in a spreadsheet. Finally, we go down to Presentation. Okay. Let that load up for us. Zoom. Oh, it looks pretty okay to me, basically. There's your themes at the top. That's pretty good. All we've got down here if we go to slide themes anymore. There's only them to start with. But bearing in mind it is free and it's normally a paid application. I ain't too worried about that, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Only Office. Go and give it a go. It's not going to cost you anything. You may end up liking it. You may change from Google Docs. You may carry on using LibreOffice. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows, do they? Nobody knows. Uh, also, this is the last time you're going to see this desktop, by the way. It's getting near 26. I'll be changing over to something different. Most of you know what it's going to be. But hey, let's wait and see. Catch you in the next video. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.